Well, hello, welcome to this week's ITL. I hope everybody finds this finds this well. Hope everybody's doing well this week. This week, not too not too too shabby here at the home front. Uh not too bad anyway. Working, 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 working hard, getting everything situated, situated. Uh more and more and more homes around Sharon burning to the ground, I from my hear. Just one or two, I guess. But uh it is what it is. I mean I think we have our own individual terrorists running around Sharon. <laughs> Don't know who it is. Don't know who it is. But I mean I've been saying this for a long time, but I think somebody's lighting them. That's my personal opinion, my own personal feelings. But I think somebody's doing it. So, my, for a while now, my security system has been down. It's been going up and down for quite a long time. I mean, these camera systems, they're, they're pain in the butt trying to keep them going as an individual. And they're expensive. They're really expensive too. But the only thing that has been has worked for a long time and kept it was sturdy. And it lasted for what three, four years? I think it was four. Actually maybe a little bit longer. I should go back and look in the videos. But it lasted me for a long time. And it was the basic service was free. Fourteen days they were, they held it in the cloud, the videos. That was free. It was free. Now you could hold to have them hold longer if you wanted to. They charge you, but you could have also have SD card in the camera, and it held up to thirty two gig. That holding it was free. I mean, except for the price of the card. I bought a hand disk, so. so I bought decent cards, in my opinion. So, and you could download those to your machine. So, yeah, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the. You get a good picture of them. You get a good picture. The wise. These are the wise, the wise cameras. Yeah, they're cheap. <laughs> These are cheap. I mean, twenty, thirty dollars. These ones here, I actually paid all back sixteen, sixteen and seventeen dollars for these. Yeah, these are actually reconditioned. You can get them from through uh, Amazon.com. Amazon reconditioned, reconditions, reconditioned, whatever. Just make sure they work. They have the warranties on them. They make sure uh, Amazon backs them up. If there's an issue with them, you get a hold of Amazon. They'll make it right for you. I've never had an issue. Just the way it is. That's the way it is. Now, the outside box might be a little bit scuffed up a little bit here and there. I don't have an issue with, the, with scuffing on the boxes. I've never had an issue with that. It's what's inside. I always have issues with it. If there's a problem with it, I get a hold of Amazon. They make it right for me. So, I've never had an issue. Um, but, I've got three of them going right now on my homestead. Now, I have one going in the garage. It's pushing... My network. Now it's on a uh, extender, a network extender to reach in, into the garage. It's actually recording my voice as it is right now because I mean, I'm, I'm interrupting the, the audio. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going off. It's so I had to stop the alerts from my phone. So yeah, it was going off last night because I have to I keep adjusting it for. The audio, because I just got it up last night. And you got to play with the, the 
how sensitive for the uh, the levels until you get it just right for yourself because it's got the uh, for going off for how loud you want for the audio and video for movement and stuff like that because you want you got it for the uh, different levels for also for um, fire alarms and co2 alarms and stuff like that this is all free this is all free now there's other things that doesn't it's not free that they try to sell you on you don't have to go for that but you can if you want to and they have packs that you can also buy into if you want to i'm not going in for that i'm building my own setup as i need it for my house now, when I get done, I'll have four cameras set up. That's all I need for now. I just got tired trying to buy a freaking security setup, camera setup, and having it fail within a year because they only have a 90 day warranty on them. So 93 days after 93 days, they die. Well, if, if they've done the warranty, yeah. Okay. But these, I had one. I tried it out. My fact, suburban rider actually asked me to do the try try out for him. I tried out, and I think it lasted, it lived for like four years. Might have been longer. I can't remember. This is really old, early on my channel lifetime. And, uh, it really worked well. It had fabulous, in my opinion, video quality. Nowadays, no, it's not 4K or more. No. But 1080p is nothing to sneeze about. I mean, I have nothing, no problems with 1080p. No problem at all. But yeah. That's what I'm going for, but guys, I have no problem with it. That's why I was shooting for with my uh, CCTV. So, yeah, rock on. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm doing for. And they're wireless except for the power. Now, I can go solar. Power on my solar setup too. That way I don't have to worry about power outages. Just a thought, guys. Oh, another little thing too. I've been posting up some of you that would follow me around. I've been posting up other pictures too, guys. If you follow me around, so you can look for me on different areas too. Just like on my Facebook, yeah, and the other areas of my life. Uh, uh, yeah, just look around. I'm I'm here and there looking around for my pictures and stuff. Or what was that on? I can't remember. It's the other one for my pictures. Oh, an X too. I'm there too. Just lurking around. Oh. Sorry. I came back. What was that? What was that? <laughs> this is something I showed early on. Yeah, this is early on in my channel. Yeah. Open it up to show you. Yeah, it's empty. This thing didn't quite look all the way like this whenever I showed it last time earlier on my channel. Um, I purchased this back in 1995. Long time ago. At Wally World, Walmart. I had a choice to purchase this in 12 gauge and chose to pick it up in 20 gauge. And you might say, why? That was a dumb move, Mike. No, it wasn't because I had a hip replacement and I was, I'm very weight sensitive. I wanted something that was lightweight, no problem carrying to the woods. And this will take shoot anything at 12 gauge will shoot down for me and uh, put some slugs in it take down a deer for me no problem 
the only thing that upset me about it was the first day a stick came through off of a tree and scratched and took the finish right off of it. It was painted on. It was a painted on box store finish. I could have taken it back if I wanted to, but no, I sanded it off and put a finish on, another finish on. It had a good finish, what it deserved. But what I ended up doing this time was put nice sling on it. Put this went ahead and put the mounts before because they, they didn't have any sling mounts on it. And gave it Yeah, I saved my shoulder. This thing only had a, a plastic plate. It kicked like a mule. For 20 gauge, she's like, oh, you're a wuss. No, no, wuss, no. This thing kicked harder than my 8mm. My 8mm kicks. Um, and I put the sleeve on it to hold five rounds of ammunition. That way, whenever, that way I, don't, I don't jingle, jingle, go into the woods carrying extra ammunition in my pockets. Five rounds is plenty. I can carry another. I have a, a belt for extra ammunition also. So, yeah, you think about it. Something comes around. Extra ammunition would be nice to have. Have a belt plus this. Yeah. Single shot. You can, go, you can get pretty handy with it. Plus with the pumpkin, round pumpkin balls. Yeah. It gets pretty handy. A lot of old timers did a lot of good duties with uh, single shot guys. She's a, she's a looker. She's a looker. I love it. All I gotta do is smooth out the, the buttstock just a little bit. Just, just do a hair, but it was smoothing out with a sand, a little bit of a sander. It's my handy dandy work. I just do a little bit more, a little bit of a sanding to it. She's not bad, not bad. And uh, yeah, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned it. I only paid eighty dollars for. Her. Anymore, I hear people spending a lot more than that nowadays. I kind of chuckle. <laughs> I got one of these sleeves for my thirty thirty too. I think that'll be my saver for my 3030. Like I probably should have got one for all my guns. I should have. But yeah. Nice little show what I did this week. This here. If anybody's thinking about doing this on the end. Be very, very careful. There isn't a lot of meat there. It's very thin. Be very, very, very careful. On your drilling, what you do, because what I'm, I end up doing is drilling that out, and I'm epoxying it in to give it a little bit extra strength. Just give it a little bit extra strength. And after you epoxy it, it will unscrew, believe it or not. Just let it sit for a long time. Let the epoxy set up, and let it get cold. Uh, epoxy just let it just, just go really slow. Now epoxy, it'll you'll hear a crack, but it'll unscrew. Just go really slow and screw unscrew it. It'll give loose. Then you can screw it right back in with the threads. But it'll strengthen it. But this is actually a. Uh, 1022 kit I used on this. So if you're wanting to do do this, so all I need is a 1022 sling kit. You can use some people put it right on on through this way. I like the full uh, front perch for my hand. 
yeah, you can pull it back here. That's too, you're too, too close for me. I like that full front perch. And that's why I also like the full length. This was a youth model. Adding the extra length opens it up for me. For more of an adult model for me. That adds an extra inch, actually a little over an inch in length. So it opens it up for more, more of an adult model for me. But yet, even as a youth model, I was able to use it for hunting. For a cheap hunter, it worked fine. But yeah, let's clean this up. This is Muzzle Mike. What do you want? I almost forgot something. Getting a little late here, but let's go ahead and give it a... Don't forget to pray. Dear Lord in heaven, uh, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for this past week. And thank you for giving us this time to get together on this video. And give the time to at least enjoy each other on each other's videos of crust and on, on YouTube and to have the enjoyment and say thank you for all the times that we do have together talking, communicating with each other. I would like to ask you, Lord, please take care of each one of us as in our times of need and in times of enjoyment. I'd like to say thank you. I'd like to say thank you for everything. Everything. My parents that I've, I had in the past. Our parents. My, the one parents I have now. I'd like to close this one up and with an a, with a amen. I was kind of at loss thinking of my deceased father. Don't know why that he just popped in my mind whenever I was thanking the Lord for him. He he wasn't a, a total believer, but he believed before a certain time in his life. And it, it just grabbed my heart. It, and it was just, I don't like to apologize to you and stuff, because it just, I had, to, I, I had to close it up. I'd like to say thank you for everybody for coming and watching my video. And, um, and I'd like to uh, say 73. Closing out. This is Muzzle Mike. Logging out. 73 guys.